Hey, Reforming Church family and friends, my name is Russ. It's good to be in the Bible in this moment with you. As we look at Romans 12 verse 12, you'll see in that beautiful artwork beside this video by Charlotte Rose Designs, Romans 12 verse 12 tells us how we can in this coronavirus crisis rejoice in hope, be patient in tribulation and be constant in prayer. They're great words of encouragement from the Bible that help us today. We live in a world that is often helpless and therefore hopeless, but we can rejoice in hope as a church and our neighbours need to see that rejoicing in hope is not just happiness, it's actually rejoicing even in times of sorrow, that we rejoice because there is hope, there is hope that God's got this. Not that I've got this or anyone else has got this, but this whole situation, God is in control, which means we can be patient in tribulation. Our world doesn't do patience well, and that was before a coronavirus crisis. But now with, with this crisis and, and a foreseeable future that is life is different, it's hard to be patient, isn't it? But we can be patient even in this tribulation because God's got this. And then thirdly, we can be constant in prayer. Knowing God has got this, he's in control. We can be constant in prayer, reliant upon him in everything, bringing all our cares, our anxieties, our worries, our concerns to God in prayer. Now, sometimes we, we want to do these things, but we often fail at them. We're not doing them well. We don't rejoice in hope very well. We, we grumble instead. We're not patient, therefore, in tribulation, and we're impatient, and particularly with other people. And, um, and then we don't be constant in prayer. We rely upon ourselves to fix this or get through this, and that never really works. The great thing is that when we look at Romans 12, verse 12, we see, as in the whole Bible, Jesus ultimately and perfectly and finally and fully fulfills this, doesn't he? Because it's Jesus the one who rejoices in hope. It's Jesus the one who is patient in tribulation. And it is Jesus the one who is constant in prayer for us who are failures. So if we don't do that well, he does it perfectly. So that if you are trusting in Jesus and you're in Christ Jesus, now you can, you're actually by his power and grace, you can rejoice in hope. You can be patient in tribulation. You can be constant in prayer. Even when we don't do it well, we can do this in Jesus' name. So can I encourage you, if you don't know Jesus and you want to meet him and see what it is like to, to be like this, even in a coronavirus crisis, can you check out more things on our website here, but particularly check out who Jesus is. And the way to do that is, of course, be in the Bible. Get a Bible, grab some time, read the Bible and be in the Bible and meet Jesus and see what it means to rejoice in him. Be patient because Jesus is the one who's patient with us. And be constant in prayer, relying upon Jesus.